Hello everybody, this is Maggie Reyoso with Real Estate Math Made Easy. We're gonna go over some more problems on real estate math, things that you are gonna need for the real estate state exam. So if you are wanting to get in on more math for your real estate exam, feel free to join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first question here says, a property has a net operating income of $100,000 and a capitalization rate of 7%. What is the market value of the property? Okay, so here we need to know the formula for capitalization rate. And the formula that you guys need to definitely know and memorize is that capitalization rate so capitalization rate, which I'm going to just say cap rate, because that's how they say it, okay, is equal to the net operating income over the market value. Oh my gosh, my handwriting is really bad today. Now that we know the formula, we could start plugging in all the information that we know. Okay, so it has a net operating income of $100,000. So net operating income is up here, okay? So we know that $100,000 goes up here in net operating income and a capitalization rate of 7%. So cap rate right here is 7%. So remember, we don't put it as a percent. We don't add, put a seven here. We have to put this as a decimal. Always change your percents to decimals. And how do we do that? By dividing by 100 so when we divide 7 by 100, we're going to get 0 0.07, okay? So therefore, the cap rate here is going to be 0 0.07, and then this is what we're looking for. So you're going to multiply these two. You're going to say 0 0.07x equals $100,000, and now we just simply divide by 0 .7, 0 0.07 to both sides. And now we're going to find out that our market value, we just divide these two now. So you get your calculator that you are allowed to have on the state exam. And when you divide these two, remember when you divide by a decimal, this number gets bigger. So you're going to end up with $1,428,571. It actually says 0.4, but here we see that the answer has to be D. All right, here we go. Second question. A property has a market value of 1500000 and a capitalization rate of 6%. What is the net operating income? Okay, so remember, like we said, capitalization rate, like we know is cap rate, is equal to the net operating income, or NOI, over the market value. That is the formula that you guys need to memorize. All right, so that now that we know the formula for capitalization rate, Remember, we have to memorize this. So now we could just plug in those values into our formula, okay? So it says here we have a market value of $1.5 million, okay? So I know that that's going to go on the bottom, $1,500,000. And then it says it has a capitalization rate of 6%. Remember, people, when you here, you cannot have a, a percentage in your formulas, so what do we do? We have to change it to a decimal. So we divide it by 100, okay? To change a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. To change a decimal to a percent, we have to multiply by 100. So when we go to change this to a decimal, this becomes 0 0.06. We have 0 0.06, okay? So that 0 0.06 is going to go here. So now we're looking for the NOI. That is our missing value. All you're going to do is just multiply these two. 
Okay, it's like cross multiplication. So then therefore our NOI is going to equal 1,500,000 times 0 0.06. So our NOI, our net operating income, which is what we use to operate the building is going to equal $90,000, okay? So you're just multiplying these two, so my answer has to be C. Now that we have included those two questions, let's see here what this one is asking. So remember capitalization rate, which we're gonna write as cap rate, is equal to our net operating in, uh, income over market value. Okay, market value is what is the property worth on the market today? So here this question says a property has a net operating income of $75,000 and a market value of $1 million. What is the capitalization rate? All right, so we have a net operating income of 75,000. So that's gonna go on the top. So 75,000 divided by the market value, which is $1 million. And that's gonna equal our cap rate. So what is the cap rate? We have to just divide these two and then remember, it's going to end up as a decimal. So when you divide 75,000 by 1 million, you're going to end up with 0 0.075. Okay? None of these have that answer. But remember, when you are dealing with cap rate, you're dealing with a percent. So we are going to multiply this by 100 which means we're just moving this decimal two places. So my cap rate is going to equal 7.5%. So the answer has to be C. So this one's gonna look similar to one of the other ones that we did because we already have three questions where we found cap rate, where we found net operating income and where we found market value. So here we're gonna look for market value again because those seem to be the hardest ones. Okay, so remember cap rate, which is your capitalization rate, is equal to the net operating income over the market value. Okay, now it says here a property has a net operating income of $60,000 and a capitalization rate of 8%. What is the market value of the property? Okay, so remember, let's start changing this percent. We have 8% over 100. That's going to equal 0 0.08. So that's what we're going to use for cap rate. Okay, so let's put that in here. 0 0.08 is going to equal our net operating income of $60,000. So we're looking for our market value. Okay, so what I would do here is I would just basically divide these two. Algebraically, you are to cross multiply these two. And what happens when you cross multiply these two? You get 0.08x equals 60,000. And then eventually you're going to have to divide. Okay, so remember when you divide by a decimal, you're going to get a bigger number. So $60,000 divided by 0 0.08 is going to give us $750,000. So that is my new market value. So the answer has to be C. Here it says a rectangular plot of land has an area of 360 square feet. One side of the plot is 20 feet long. What is the length of the other side? So when we have a rectangular piece of land, which is basically, oh, that doesn't look too rectangular. <laughs> Let's try that again. 
hopefully that okay there we go all right so then it has an area so my area is 360 feet squared or square feet one side of the plot is 20 feet long and they want to know what's the length of this side okay so remember we just plug it into the formula okay remember your area formula is equal to length times your width. So this times this should equal this. Okay? So if we have an area of 360 square feet and we have a length of 20 feet, what is our width? So that is our X. All right? So since we have that, we're going to just divide by 20 feet. Okay, so then that, therefore, our width is going to equal what? We just divide 360 by 20, and that's going to equal 18 feet. Okay, so the answer has to be C.